This is a video that's going to show you how to turn the fan off when you're printing Drew Loop flowers. Now this flower on the left here you can see is kind of blown, the petals are blown, and the flower on the right um, is more symmetrical. Now this, it's just, uh, they're both beautiful, if, but if you want to take the effort to have a more symmetrical flower, you can turn off the fan and you will get that. Now here's a video of a normal print. The fan stays on in this case, and so here you can see we're printing the bottom part of the flower. Um, you do want the fan on when you're printing little tiny layers like this because you do want to cool it off. But here when the Drew Loops start to print, this G-code file has the fan stay on. And so you can see the fan is blowing everything to the right, um, which is giving the flower that wind blown look, which I would say is uh, wonderful and maybe that's an effect that you want, in which case you don't want to do anything here. I got a close-up of the fan. You can see the fan is still spinning and um, blowing those Drew Loops over to the side. And uh, Drew Loops, by the way, is my made-up word for a droop plus a loop, which is how I get these um, loopy shapes to come out of the printer. Here's a, here's a shot from up top, and you can see that in this case, um, the flower is not quite symmetrical, and yet it's still quite beautiful. Um, I think it's fine if you want to do it this way, you can. The next, I'm going to show you what it looks like when I've modified the G-code to turn off the fan. So here we are, the fan is on, like it should, but when it starts to print the Drew Loops, the fan stops. So see, the fan stopped there. Um, the fan was on when it was printing the lower part, which we want because it cools it off when it's printing a small area. But now that I'm actually printing my Drew Loops, I have the fan off and you can see how the, they can just fall straight down and we end up with a more symmetrical shape to our flower. Um, and that's um, one way to do it is with a controller. You can tell if the, you can turn it off manually but I prefer to modify the G-code because then I can just print as many as I want and I don't have to watch how to do it. Today I'm going to show quickly how to use G-code modifications to automatically turn off the fan when you're printing the Super Drew Loop flowers. I guess I'd like to just stress that turning the fan off is optional, it's not needed, but if you want to, um, I want to show you how to modify G-code to do that um, automatically. I'm going to download the SCAD file first because um, I just find it easier than um, using the customizer. So I'm going to save that file. Now I'm going to go into that folder. Oh no, now I'm going to open SCAD and I'm going to open up that file. And first I'm just going to quickly render it to see, do a compile, which is F5 uh, if you're using Windows version and take a look at the flower that's going to be generated by that. And let's say that, yeah, that's pretty, but let's say for me right today, I'd rather do a flower that's a little bit rounder. So I'm going to change the um, radius for where the petals are printed to be 10. And I'm going to make the total height um, 10. And let's start the flowers at the seventh layer. And let's just make the petals 10. And let's not do a stigma on this one. And now let's render or do a compile just to see what that looks like. Okay, so let's say that this is more like the flower I want to print today. And then let's get this thing starting on a compile and render so that I can export as an STL file. So while that's... Um, oh, it's done already. Oh, well, that's cool. All right, well then let's uh, go ahead and export the STL file right away. And uh, let me talk about, first of all, how to figure out where to turn these, um, turn the fan off. So as, this, as the printer is printing, it's going to print layer by layer. Once it gets to this point here where it's printing the Drew Loops, that's where I want to turn the fan off. So, where, so what layer is this going to be is the question I'm trying to answer right now. And one way to do that is if you know the thickness that you're going to slice it at, and in my case I'm going to slice it at point 0.2, then you take the um, layer where the petals start, where it, which is 7, and I, because I'm just looking at my file here, um, and divide that by the slicing thickness, which is 2, 
that's telling me that at layer 35 you'll probably is should be right there and that's where you're going to turn the fan off now the other way to double check that is I'm going to open up Cura which is my slicing program and I'm going to load in the file we just made and we're going to take a look at that okay yep that's the file and I'm going to switch over to the layer view and I'm going to scroll up and down here and you can see uh, so here at layer 36 I've got my first drew loop and here at layer 35 I've got nothing so that also tells me that when I'm slicing at a layer of 2.2 that um, 35 is the layer where I want the fans to go off I'm going to save that tool path I'm going to go back to my browser real quick and I'm going to show you the um, rep rep page for G code and we're going to talk about turning fans off so if I scroll down through here we can see that these are all the code uh, commands for G code and here M106 is the fan command I go down to the page here and this is what's important to me M106 S0 turns the fan off you see here that the um, of values for S can range between 0 and 255. Um, you can read all this later if you want. Um, also I want to say that even though M107 has been depreciated and this is telling me to use M106 instead, I still use that um, when I'm modifying my g-code just um, I don't know maybe out of paranoia that I really want the fan to go off. So I'm gonna open up the g-code file that we made and I'm um, just going to use WordPad. Um, and one thing to notice is that anything that starts with a semicolon is a comment. So the, the printer totally ignores those. So I'm just going to make it, I'm going to add to the comment here that, um, that I turned off, I turned off fans at layer 35 because that's what we decided um, we were going to do. I'm going to do a find and I just want to show you if I do a find on M106 you can see like here here's layer 1 M06 okay here the fans are going on full blast at layer 1 um, because that's the layer after 0 which is the bottom layer um, layer 2 the speed changes a little bit layer 3 the speed changes so you can see that um, throughout the file the um, fan speed may be changing but right now I just want to go right to layer 35 because that's where I decided I need to turn the layers off so here's layer 35 this is a comment so I'm just going to add here um, mark turns off fan and then I'm going to put in M106 S0 M107 and that's going to be just doubly sure that the fans are off now I want to go continue to go down through this file because there might be a point where it's trying to just adjust the fan speed a little bit but that'll have the effect of turning the fan back on I want the fan to stay off for the rest of these drew loops the pedals whatever that's getting printed so I'm going to search now for M106 I'm going to do find next and here I can see at layer 38 it was going to adjust the speeds of that so I'm just going to click in here and type a semicolon which just comments that out so it will be ignored and then I'm going to say find next oh and there are no more instances of that so well, I'm done if there were more lower down uh, I would just do the same thing I would just comment them out add that in find the next one but since there are no more I'm just going to do a save as this will be my G code file that I turn the fans off in and that's that um, this file now if I send it to the printer will have the fans automatically turning off when I want them to and I won't have to sit there and babysit the printer and, um, and I'm all done ready to print my flowers one last thing I want to say is that here you can see that I'm finishing this flower and the fan is off this is a coat this is a file that had multiple flowers in it um, so you do want to make sure that you go through each section turning the fan off but then allowing it to come back on like it normally does so here it's printing layer zero it still has the fan off but as soon as it gets to layer one the fan will come back on so if you've got multiple flowers printing remember to do that okay have fun